This conference will now be recorded. Good morning, students. Today we are going to look at address of 8086. Okay. So in the previous day's session, we have looked at uh, uh, what is 8086, build diagram, architecture, and all. Correct. So here in this class, we are going to look addressing modes. So addressing modes are nothing but the way in which we are going to put our instruction and operand is operator is said to be addressing mode so that the microprocessor will understand what they have given for the particular application how to get into action is what addressing mode. Okay. the next is this is introduction that assembly language program is developed by segregation of many instruction set okay so these are instructions data segment data ends code segment code ends these are all belongs to assembler director okay it is nothing but used to execute the result in mass microsoft assembler what we are doing in laboratory session now <coughs> that is what given example here for programming okay so next we have program what is program program is nothing but a set of instructions put it together okay for application we are going to write a program write a program now in the control over instructions so in the program application can not necessarily available but or program so yeah that is going to be program a set of instructions written to solve a problem next is what <coughs> instruction so what is instruction this is a direction which is um, which a microprocessor follows to execute a task or part of a task so uh, how the microcontroller or microprocessor will understand the instruction is by generating hexadecimal code after that it, it is used to convert that hex values into binary values okay so that the direction which a processor or a controller follow to execute or get into action that is set to be instruction okay normally in computer language we have two categories of levels one is high level language another one is low level language okay so in high level language we have c c plus plus java sql everything comes under high level language low level language uh, is again classified into two one is machine language and one is assembly language okay so machine language as we know machine works with zeros and ones so it deals with binary values and assembly language is nothing but english alphabets as you can see here we are having instruction uh, with characters alphabets and mnemonics right so mnemonics is nothing but the instruction operand plus operator is called mnemonics okay so we have alphabets mnemonics and numbers Numbers now represent under the data work club will address our club, right? And the addressing modes. Okay, every instruction of a program has to operate on a data. So the different ways in which a source operand is denoted in an instruction are known as addressing mode. As I told you earlier that the way in which we are going to put our operator and operand in such a way that the processor gets understand get to know that this is the action performed by uh, this instruction okay so that i'm getting into action operator the processor I will understand that is called addressing mode so we have 12 basic addressing modes the classifications based upon the addressing modes okay how we are putting uh, the data and operator okay so we have 12 basic classification <coughs> number one is register addressing mode number two immediate addressing 
three direct addressing, four registered indirect addressing, five based addressing, six index addressing, seven based index addressing, eighth one string addressing, ninth direct input port addressing, ten indirect input output port. 11 relative addressing 12 implied addressing okay so among this 12 we can separate it into number of groups okay so that is first two addressing modes or it uh, comes under one group that is said to be addressing modes of register and immediate data okay these two combined in a single group that is group one and next five <coughs> <coughs> Next three to eight, okay. Three to eight belongs to group two addressing modes for memory data, okay. So here we are going to put uh, address for storing the memory uh, data in the particular address location. So this comes under your addressing modes for memory data. And next two belongs to group three that is addressing modes for input output port. Okay, if we are going to connect peripheral device to the microprocessor, then this particular instruction helps. Okay, so uh, without this instruction, we cannot able to transfer the data between your microprocessor and peripheral devices. Okay, so this is uh, under the group addressing modes for input output port. Uh, next we have relative addressing so relative addressing it is also used for uh, ending uh, or uh, uh, used for single instruction okay relative addressing instruction uh, of a program uh, next implied addressing this comes under group five that is implied no other combinations along with relative and implied addressing okay and uh, next comes uh, different addressing modes explanation okay <coughs> register addressing mode number one is register addressing so this instruction specific name of the register which holds the data to be operated by the instruction so from the no name itself you could understand that the data transfer or data uh, movement is between two registers okay as we have studied the architecture of 8086 we have general purpose registers like ax bx cx and dx correct so each carry 16 bit okay so this instruction uh, is used to transferring or moving the data between two registers so here we have two registers cl and dh okay this is the example cl and dh the content or uh, content present in dh that is data register will be moving to your cl register this is the meaning of this instruction okay so more cl command dh dh content will be moved towards your cl okay so this is your general purpose register okay ax bx cx and dx these are all present in your execution unit and this is biu unit bus interface unit in bus interface unit you will have a segment registers okay instruction pointer segment register and 20 bit address generation everything will be there and instruction queue will be there in bus instruction unit and inside in the execution unit we will have alu temporary register accumulator register flag register sp stack pointer base pointer destination index register source index register along with general purpose register correct so i'm going to move the data from dh to cl so here you have dh okay and dh to cl okay this is the registers this belongs to same general purpose registers no so i am going to move the data between these registers not to anywhere else not to any memory location or peripheral device okay so this is said to be register addressing it is very simple to follow okay and next comes we have immediate addressing so immediate addressing is nothing but i'm going to give a direct data to my dl register okay immediately the data 08 will be moved from the address location to that dl data register general purpose register okay so it's dl uh, 08 will be moved towards dl okay this is immediate addressing i'm transferring the immediate data okay so directly 08 will be moved to dl register this is immediate if this is uh, for example for 8 bit and this is the example for 16 bit okay 16 bit data <coughs> 0a9f is 16 bit it can be moved from your register uh, 
uh, data will be more moved to your register ax okay here we have given ax because it is 16 bit here we have given dl because this is 8 bit okay uh, can you or can you make the difference between those two since it is 8 bit only two numbers 8421 cola you will have 08 like a bit Okay, this 08 will be represented in 8421 code like 8 under 8421 code 8421 code. This 08 will be represented as 0 0 0 0 and one zero 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 okay so this is eight four two one four so here we have zero and this is eight so totally we have how many bits eight bits one two three four five six seven eight so totally eight bits so this is eight bit information this data will be more towards tl lower order bit okay if you go for ax then this is 16 bit okay <coughs> here the data will be 089f so similar to this example you can ex uh, explain you can denote this number as uh, 0 0 0 0 and for a what is a in hexadecimal value hexadecimal value starts from 0 to 9 and a to f correct so then tell me the value of a a to f What is equivalent of A? Ten, eleven, twelve, thirteen, fourteen, fifteen. A, B, C, D, E, F. Correct. F is equal to fifteen. Right. Then tell me what is the value of A? A value in the power. Your hexadecimal value is 0 to 9 and A to F. <coughs> what is A? A is equal to 10. Okay. B is equal to 11. C is equal to 12. D is equal to 13. E is equal to 14. F is equal to 15. Okay. So your A value is equal to 10. Now convert this A value into your 8421 code. Okay. So that here you have <coughs> 1, 0, 1, 0. Okay. A and 9. What is 9? 8. 8 plus 1. Correct. 1, 0, 0. 1 and next your f will be all ones 1 1 1 and 1 okay this is one data and this is another 4 bit data and this is another 4 bit data correct so totally we have 16 bit 16 bit will be more towards your x register it's not l or h register x register that is why we are putting here as ex okay this is 16 bit conversion okay and next this is immediate data so that i am giving direct numbers to the register the number what you have given inside the bracket is said to be address here we have not given any square brackets okay so this is numbers the data the data will be directly moved to the registers what we have given okay and next is what physical address calculation 
So in H zero H six is concerned, we are going to convert your sixteen bit address into twenty bit address lines. Okay, so that we are have to uh, calculate logical address and physical address and base address and all. Okay, so what is uh, logical address? So logical address is nothing but it is the address which contained in the sixteen bit. <coughs> 16 bit like uh, instruction pointer base pointer stack pointer okay a source index and destination index okay this is the instruction uh, the registers where we are going to store the uh, address okay so that i can take logical addresses it is also known as offset address or effective address so this this gives me the distance of or uh, the length of the program okay this is a to be offset address i'm going to add this offset address along with my physical address okay what is my base segment address <coughs> base segment address is contained in one of the 16 bit contents of the segment registers okay the address where it is present in the segment registers are considered as base segment address okay so i am going to add this logical address and base segment address to the <coughs> physical address so physical address gives me 20 bit address because we have 16 bit address lines 16 bit data okay which will be tra traveled in my buses so i should have to convert that 16 bit into 20 bit because in 8086 we have 20 address lines okay so your 16 bit address lines will not uh, uh, carry in 20 bit addresses so i'm going to convert that into 20 bit okay this is the calculation we are going to calculate your 16 bit into 20 bit okay so as i told you this is offset this is length of the program and we have segment register okay so segment register is 16 bit everything is 16 bit right so this segment register possesses 16 bit segment register 16 bits and along with that we are adding 0000 because that 16 bit is converted to 20 right so i am adding null values four null values and after adding those two values i am getting my physical address as 20 okay each each offset value on segment registers are 16 bit i'm going to add these two 16 bit along with my offset value okay i mean uh, segment register plus offset value with this null character 0000 so that i'll get my physical address 20. this is how we are going to convert 16 into 20 address lines it is easy for the microprocessor to travel or transfer the data between different blocks and next followed by that we are having addressing words colon memory access okay this generated 20 bit address lines can address up to 2 power 20 mb of memory 1 mb of memory because we have 20 address lines so the memory capacity of this particular 8086 is 2 to the power 20. if you have 16 address lines then the memory capacity of the particular microprocessor will be 2 to the power 16. is that clear depending upon the address lines okay depending upon the address lines your uh, memory capacity will be measured and next comes however the largest register is only 16 bit the physical address will have to calculate it, uh, i already told you right how to generate your physical address so that that is the way we are going to generate here i have given you the example like 89ab with 0 f012 okay how i am going to convert this into 20 bit from the image itself from the number itself you could easily understand this is 16 bit this is 16 bit and this is 16 bit okay so these two 16 bit uh, content will be converted to 20 bit so here 89ab f012 will be taken here by the multiplication of 10 okay so your segment register value will be multiplied by 10 so four zeros will be added at the end okay so this is your uh, offset value already in the byte unit okay already it is in byte unit i'm going to use this uh, uh, this value directly by adding zero in the front okay so that i'll get the output as no no necessary uh there is no need of putting zero in front you can uh, neglect it also okay so f012 is added with this value so that in the extra zero value will be uh, allowed here okay so that the absolute address will be 98ac2 so uh, for the user the address will uh, locate or uh, reflect like this but inside the processor the same address location will be converted into this value okay this is not known by the user 
this is calculated by the microprocessor right so if i want to take the value of this particular address location i should call this value so that our processor will understand oh, the, oh this is the data which i have to taken from this location 98ac2 instead of 89ab uh, directly it will take the content from 98ac2 okay because after converting this into 20 bit the uh, processor should know processor only know where the data current data will be present okay not by the user and next is what direct addressing so from the uh, from the example you can easily understand the numbers given inside the bracket so it represents address not the data okay i am addressing my uh, data directly so what it expresses move px comma inside the bracket 1354 the content present in this particular address location 1354 will be moved towards your px register understood in the previous example we have given simply the number without brackets here we have given the number inside the bracket so it represents address okay so in this instruction i am telling the processor that take the content present in the address location 1354 and move to that uh, into px register because it is 16 bit right so px register i have given if it is 8 bit you can take bl or bh okay so this is again 16 bit instead of bl you can use bh here right understand right <clears throat> next is what register indirect addressing mode so register indirect addressing mode now so this is again between registers okay so i'm transferring the data between register but it is indirect i'm not uh, giving direct register so inside the bracket right so this is indirect okay so in uh, register addressing mode we are giving move cx comma ax or cx comma bx that is register addressing this is uh, again the register addressing but indirect mode so we are going to give inside the bracket this is indirect mode okay so now the uh, logical address or uh, uh, my uh, main address will be calculated as in effective address we are having px and base address will be ds into 16 okay data segment into 16 to convert this 16 into 20 bit and your uh, maximum address okay main address is equal to ba plus ea in the ad control okay this is logical address and your physical address sorry logical uh, kind base address and your uh, logical address gives me physical address that is adding two values then this converts your 16 into 20 bit the next based addressing based addressing the similar way to the previous instruction inside the bracket we are having bx right here inside the bracket we are having bx plus 08 08 is nothing but the displacement okay the distance or the displacement we can have 16 bit or 8 bit extension okay unsigned 16 bit displacement will be specified in the instruction okay signed and unsigned now signer we have positive or negative values in the data unsigned there is no restrictions for signing operation okay so here we have 08 as a displacement which will be added along with my base uh, register in uh, offset value okay so this is your offset value effective address i'm going to add this a displacement and as as similar to that we d es into 16 20 bit margin now uh, addition of this ea and ba gives me in my original physical address okay this is based addressing based index addressing now we are having si instead of a bx register we are having source index because we have two index registers in 8086 one is destination index and source index we should not have destination index for this okay we are having source index okay maximum we prefer source index so move cx comma si plus 0a 2h this is displacement again so displacement now distance start this is stuck from the uh, the length 
or the distance from this particular instruction to the halt of the program. Okay, that is displacement. Next, we have uh, added with source index. Okay, the content present in the source index is added with this value and moved towards my C value. Okay, the addition of this SI and 0 a 2 patch will be moved towards your CX register. Okay, this is this instruction explanation. Okay, so as similar to that, FF year 2 will be added with source index in the effective address and BA. Be in a base address ds plus ds into 16 and next we are having addition of those two will gives me an original address okay this is index addressing or index register ruler and next comes we have based index addressing mode so bx plus si plus displacement okay in the render path only okay based addressing and index addressing mode a combination is given in based addressing Okay, so this base base addressing and the index addressing combination gives in base index addressing mode. In the path of the data, BX plus 0, 08. Here we have SI plus 0, A, 2, H, and next comes BX plus SI plus 0, A, H, the displacement. Okay, so this is based index addressing mode. Next, string addressing mode. So, string addressing mode is nothing but the instruction which provides string operation okay so this is string addressing or this s represents string okay so string operation can be done using this instruction move yes byte move yes word like that it goes okay next we have input and output uh, direct and indirect port addressing mode okay so here you have in al comma zero nine so the zero nine content will be moved towards your al okay so this is used for inputting the operation this is used for outputting the data okay this is connected to my peripheral devices okay peripheral devices now is nothing but the device which we are going to interface with my 8086 through some external wires then that is said to be your peripheral device so say for example if your computer if you take a computer the peripheral devices for the particular computer is printer scanner mouse keyboard okay uh, whatever uh, you are going to connect externally with the help of wires to the cpu that is called your peripheral device likewise we are having n number of peripheral devices like serial port communication parallel port communication analog to digital converter digital to analog converter and uh, interrupt controller segment register uh, sorry a seven segment displays lcd interface stepper motor dc motors alarm so many things are there sensors okay so all these are comes under your uh, peripheral devices because in your 8086 we doesn't have internal peripherals like a serial port parallel port and all okay so that is why we are going for external connection for that operation this instruction input output uh, direct and indirect port addressing so indirect port addressing like we have mentioned here as dx inside the bracket but here we have mentioned 09 inside the bracket so this is direct port addressing this is indirect port addressing okay indirect now a bracket to run the register this is very easy to follow each and every instruction says uh, we have very minor uh, uh, differences between those things okay once you go through the examples you could easily understand all the uh, addressing notes and next is what relative addressing mode relative addressing mode is a simple which is used for conditional operation okay this is j z j z is nothing but jump zero okay jump zero open uh, now if we have a zero result okay after iteration if the condition is zero then you have to jump to this uh, data zero a jump not zero 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 one okay jump sign jump not sign okay so many iterations are takes place with the help of this jump instruction okay if we have zf that is zero flag is equal to one then the program control jumps to new address calculated above if zero flag is equal to zero then the next instruction of the program is executor okay jump zero or the china next instruction will be executor if it is not zero it will jump to the particular address what we have mentioned okay this is what your relative addressing 
and next comes implied addressing okay this implied addressing is used to clear the carry flag to zero the hlt weight clear clc all comes under your implied addressing mode okay single single command is used to or do some actions or do some conditions in your program then that is said to be your implied addressing mode that's all so finally we reach our session quiz session so now uh, can anyone answer me this question the 16 bit data 16 bit flag of 8086 microprocessor is responsible to indicate dash Gayatri, yes, yay. The right answer. Very good, Gayatri. And the second question is, the CF is known as, what is CF? CF is known as carry flag. Good. Good, Gayatri, good going. The SF is called? Ityashri, good. Very good, carry flag. The SF is called service flag, sign flag, single flag, condition flag. Sign flag. Very good, guy. Three. <coughs> Excuse me. The OF is called OF. Super OF is overflow flag. And the IFS, Anthony, very good, Anthony. The I3, one flag career. In the last cancer center, yeah. Interrupt flag register, super. Shubhashni, C, right. If you have any doubt in this today's session, let me know now. No doubts? I have posted a uh, first experiment in the Google Classroom. Few of you have submitted it, okay? The rest of the students not yet submitted. Before the laboratory session, kindly submit it, right? And the duration of the class attended by you is measured in the uh, attendance sheet using this go to meeting. So easily and easily you will caught if you skip the classes, okay? Those who attend the class fully, then only I'll put you present, else I'll make you absent. Right. Thank you. Class dispersed.